In this video, I'll guide you through an easy bit of JavaScript, and that is creating a simple chart using Chartist.js. So all we do is Google Chartist.js to get the Chartist website. They give us uh, an option of downloading. We don't want to do that because we're using CodePen. We can't use downloaded files. We need to link, so we click on getting started. Have a look for the CDN options, so that's Content Delivery Network. Show the code. And all we need are the CSS links. They go in the pen settings under Add External CSS. And the link to the JS file, that goes into the pen settings under Add External JavaScript. So next we need a little bit of HTML and Chartist gives us a little HTML code to copy and paste. This goes in the HTML of our code pen. We now need to initialize the script and we copy this JavaScript into the JS box. And there we have our first graph. So this consists of a variable var with the data in it. We can manipulate this data any way we want. So I'm adding some names in here and I'm going to arbitrarily assign them some numbers. These could be ages, heights, grades. And the last line initializes the chart, so it creates a new chartist. I can change line to bar, if I like, to create a bar chart. .ct chart simply refers to the HTML class to apply the chart to. And data refers to the variable data. This is the data that's going to get loaded into the chart. We can also add a new variable called options. And this is part of the Chartist API. We can assign lots of different options to give the chart uh, different properties. So here I'm uh, giving the chart a particular width and height. All I need to do is load the options variable into the initialization script. So we can have a look on the uh, API there's uh, lots and lots of information about how to change the um, CSS and other options to add.